Hey guys, it's Half Pep, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about where I've been and where I will be taking this channel for the future. Basically, where I've been and where I'm going. The outfit I have on is a bit different, and you've probably never seen it before, but we're trying something new. I'm going to start with a brief timeline on where I have been that will hopefully give you a bit of an insight as to why I've been gone for so long. So back in November and December of 2022, so last year, I had been posting basically every week without telling anyone. Like no one knew I hadn't like said it out loud. I was just doing it and it was my own personal goal. And I was going to keep that up into the new year, except I jumped the gun a bit in January and I put out an announcement video, which I should have known based on the history of anything I try and do on my channel. It never works out when I announce that I'm going to be doing something a certain way. It never happens that way. I've tried to do scheduled uploads for a while now and it has never worked out, but you know. So I jumped the gun a bit in January. I got really busy and I got sick and then I got really busy and I got sick again, all in January still. It was a mess, honestly. And at the same time, I was losing motivation to make videos and just keep up with the schedule now that I had announced it. There was almost too much pressure that I had put onto myself. So eventually I came to a formal pause of stopping creating content where I put out an announcement saying, hey, I'm not gonna be posting for a while. I'll be back soon, but I'll use it to stock up on content, which spoiler, I did not stock up on content. <laughs> I had genuinely, when I said it, I thought that's what I was going to do. I thought I was going to use it to stock up a bunch of videos and then ha be able to just edit them as they needed to come out. And I lost all the motivation. I couldn't do it. And I used the time to just genuinely just take a break, I guess. Um, and then I thought I was ready to come back in like February and I wasn't <laughs> at all. I was still really busy. I still had no motivation. It just was not going to happen. So then in March, I got a job, which I've been fortunate enough to have waited so long and I am still in school. So having a job on top of school and then like testing and all of that around that time was a terrible, terrible combination. And then life picked up again with all of the other stuff I do outside of being half pep and I was just not in the right headspace to add content creation back into the mix at all. <laughs> then we hit May and I was going to make a video announcing my return and setting out a new schedule which I really should have learned the first couple times I tried to do that um, but it kept getting pushed back and I wanted to order some things you for so I could do this basically um, and I kept pushing it back and I kept pushing it back and I kept pushing it back so then it was summer and I thought that would be the perfect time with school out and everything having just work would be a lot more manageable or so I thought I started by going on vacation with my family it was really nice we had a lovely time and I got back and I had an internship over the summer a paid internship it was really fun I really enjoyed it but it was 18 hours a week for the internship on top of my job so like three days out of the week at least I would be waking up at like nine going in for my internship right at ten and I would be like waking up like processing the world and being awake from nine to like <laughs> nine forty five and then going in for my internship getting home like 3.30 before heading out at 4.30 for work and then getting back at like 10.30 at night. It was just terrible. It was really rough. And I had no time to do like anything. It felt like it was really rough. Um, again, I had a lovely time, especially with the internship and everything, but it was a lot and I just did not have time to do much else. So I was really just still not ready. Then I came to... I posted a vlog on my second channel <laughs> um, last year about where I was. I did that again, basically. Had a ton of fun, met a lot of cool people who I really hope I get to see again. And I saw another in August, just after my birthday, which was lovely. But I was just not ready. And I was still so busy. <laughs> and I was going to use that week. Like, I knew that week was going to be packed full of stuff. But it was packed in such a different way that even though I was busy all of the time, 
it felt like a break and it was like wild like i'm when i'm saying i was busy i was so busy i did manage to get a couple streams in over the summer and by a couple i mean like maybe three it was not a lot um and i will go live and explain the future of my streams and everything and then that'll be posted on my vod channel which i will link right up here i actually started this not really script script back in september so i didn't write till now as i'm filming this mid november <laughs> Life got so hectic. I got sick for a week straight. It was terrible. I was really sick and I had an ear infection and it was just not fun. Not COVID, luckily. My family got COVID. So I was working around that, but I never got COVID. I've been like, it's been rough. It's been a lot. This year, I can already tell, is going to be a lot and um, will continue to be a lot. And, it's con and so is next year. I can like really tell. Um, Hopefully next year we'll chill out a little bit, though. That would be really nice. So where am I at now? I have school still and work still. It's been a busy week. I had a concert and everything. Like, it's 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 still a lot. But I do miss creating content. That's why I'm sitting down making this video is because I miss making content so much. And I'm making content in other aspects of my life, too, because that's just what I like to do and everything. But yeah, before we really talk about what's happening in the future, I'm going to answer a couple questions that I asked because I said, hey, I'm making this update video, anything y'all want me to address specifically, so not to call either of the people out, but I'm going to. <laughs> so Speedy asked what the future for Monday Minecraft and like any future collaborations are going to look like. So collaborations are, I have stuff in the works, I'm actually interviewing some creators based off of where their mental health space is at in relation to content and their content in relation to mental health and like that type of thing um which will be coming out at some point i'll get to that later <laughs> as far as collaborations go i've filmed a couple stuff with some other people if you really want to catch all of those make sure you're following me on twitter and i th and you're in my discord server like either of those you should be able to find them pretty easily really excited i would still love to collab with people like just let me know and i'll be down I do want to do more collabs in the future because I really like making content with my friends. Like, I really love them all and it's like such a fun thing and it really just- it's one of the big things that makes me want to keep creating content is when I can do it with my friends because they're such- such amazing people. As far as Monday Minecraft, I had done a bit of things, but not too too much because I hadn't been making any content on it and I didn't want to get too far ahead. Um, and then I didn't make, like, it was a whole cycle of not making content because I didn't want to do things and then not doing things because I would have to make content about it. So I want to do, like, a recap video to get you all caught up and then we can keep going from there. So, Rai specifically, hi Rai, sorry to call you out. You're great. Um, Rai asked about the future of the Anti-Granite Federation and where all that's going and everything like that. So as far as I'm concerned, the Federation has never truly been just mine. It came from you guys, it came from Rai specifically actually, and I've just been like, I don't want to say spreading it, <laughs> like helping spread it basically, but like run it because I'm, it, I have a platform a little bit, you know, I'm creating content so I can create content about it. Y'all are totally welcome to make any content, any art, whatever on it. It's, it was never just mine, you know, like it was never my anti-granite federation it was the anti-granite federation like it is it was never for me it was for y'all basically so like take it into your own hands you can make content you can do what like whatever however <laughs> in relation to what speedy asked about monday minecraft because the anti-granite federation did come from monday minecraft i have been working on this and i wanted to do a special episode announcing it i was gonna do it in the recap episode for monday minecraft but I have been working on shirts, anti-granite shirts. These should be available on my Etsy soon. They'll be fully screen printed, not just cut off like that, but screen printed by yours truly right here. If you want an anti-granite shirt for whatever reason, you can go ahead and <laughs> get those on my Etsy store. The link will be in the description. No pressure at all, but if you want one, they're there. That should be up hopefully when this video goes out or whenever someone's watching it in the future. Uh, that's 
fun. That's a that's a thing I'm I'm trying to do. But getting to what I think everyone is mainly curious about and why everyone probably wanted to click on this video or why what you probably skipped to actually um what does this mean for the future does it mean no more half pep no i am i am not gonna be sticking to a schedule at all and video posts will probably be very sporadic it'll just be oh i thought this would be fun and I finished editing it because I had motivation to do so. So here you go. And less of a, I feel this obligation to continue posting, which I still feel because I really appreciate, I really appreciate all of y'all's support, but I'm trying to not take it in the way of getting in the way of my creativity or why I'm making content in the first place. So videos will just be posted as I make them when I feel like making them. It, the creator interviews video should be going up decently soon. I have been working on it for so long. I kind of just want to get it done and up. You can subscribe to this channel and ring the bell so you don't miss those uploads, but it could mean that eventually the uploads will stop. And this is, I guess your warning for that is one day they might just, there might just not be another video. And that is fully possible. Do I intend on that being anytime soon? Absolutely not. I still absolutely love making content. Again, that's why I am sitting right here right now making this video. But I really love the people who I have found on the internet from doing this. And I still want to keep going right now, especially because of those people and because of you guys. So <laughs> that day might never come. I might keep posting like forever and ever for as long as i live um but this is a warning it, they could just peter out eventually that is a genuine possibility on to the fun stuff where am i going with the future other than that <laughs> aspect the fun part i might get into making like video essays on things i really enjoy um i have a few topics in mind uh <laughs> if you're interested in that they will be up on a separate channel which will be linked in the iCard right here and in the description down below. Uh, no guarantees that videos are going to be posted immediately or ever. It's a genuine possibility that there won't be. Bonus fun stuff, like I guess behind the scenes on this video or something, or just any little random ideas I have will be on my second channel that I have. Again, the link will be in the description and up in the iCard in the top right corner. I have a few fun little ideas and a few follow goals that I never really did on Twitch that will be posted on my second channel. I will hopefully be posting a fancier announcement here on this channel soon-ish. A lot of work is going to go into that and I've been working a lot on it behind the scenes. So yeah, quick recap. Is this goodbye forever? No. Is it goodbye for now? Yeah. Thank you all so, so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I started doing this seven years ago and to still have the amount of support that I do is wild to me, even after I've taken such a long break and been so sporadic with my uploads and my streams and everything. It's just absolutely insane. It, and like, never would I have thought that that would happen. Um, so thank you again so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a great rest of your day or night, wherever you are. Stay safe. Take care of yourself. And I guess I will see you in the next one. Bye.